Hello. This is another video on how to use Schoology, specifically how to get to your various courses and some of the things that you can do with them. Before I showed you the main menu of Schoology, where things are on the main menu and things like the calendar and the messages. However, most of your work will be done through the courses. And if you click on courses, what it will do is it will show you your seven different classes plus a school counselor page. And what they're trying to do with your teachers, they may not be all there yet, but they're trying to put the number of the course with the class. For example, this student has computer science during third period, see the three right here, and they'll also try to put the number right here. When you click on the course name, it will bring you to the course page, and you will see a variety of different things. You will see calendar things specifically to that class. You may see assignments, you may see discussions, you may see folders. All these things are unique to that course. For example, in this course, there might be a folder about the class introduction. There might be a course on the um, curriculum of CS Discoveries. If I click on here, there will often be even more folders. If I click on Assignments, there's even more folders. If I click on Read and Download, there's even more folders and on and on and on. Usually teachers will put folders within folders to keep things organized. If I want to go back, I can click on this back button right here. I can click on this previous button right here. Or the actually most useful one though is to try to click on these words right here. This is a shortcut to get back to things. So if I want to get back to the main course page, I click right here. There may be more things at the bottom that are not within folders, but most things teachers are going to put in folders. The other thing that you will often see is you will see a link to the main Teams meeting, and usually teachers will try to put it right on top. This one doesn't have it yet, but usually it will be right on top. So again, this is what you can do when you go to a course. You click on courses, you go to the course, and then you will see various folders and files to you to read and interact with. Next video, I'll be showing you some of the different things you can do while in the course.